All right, so if you remember correctly, I had mentioned while installing, um, while installing Composer that my PHP version is quite low. So the things we're going to be doing from now on uh, should be version specific in Laravel. So I need to upgrade my PHP in order to accommodate that because the minimum requirement for Laravel 8 is PHP 7.3. So if you already had PHP 7.3 installed on your computer, you can forget about this video. There's uh, no need for you to do this process. This is only for those that had a lower version like me when starting here. So in order to check your PHP version, you just have to open the command line. So let's open the command line there. And then we're going to type uh, PHP hyphen V for version, press enter. And you're going to see that on mine, I have 7.2, which is not enough uh, for me to do what I want to do. And as a side note here, if I go to my, let me just get any file. I just want to open my, uh, my Laravel folder here, the one I made, which is my blog. And I want to go to the folder where there is artisan here, and then I will press shift on my computer and then say uh, right click and then say open command line here. Why I've done that is because I want it to take me straight to the app folder here or my blog, not the app folder, but the my blog. Let me do cd backpack dot dot like that so that I'm inside my blog. If you don't have that option, you can simply open your command line and navigate to the folder with your blog. Because I want to run artisan here, so I'll do php artisan like that. And then if you go back to the beginning of this, you see that my Laravel uh, framework version is version 6 and not 8. And that's because when I tried to install, it found that my php version was lower, so it installed the one that is suitable. For that version so in order for me to get version 8 which we are supposed to be learning here i have to upgrade my php and i'm doing so because the rest of the tutorial will uh, some things may have changed over the years in laravel so it's good idea to have actual version 8 there okay so how exactly do i up update my zamp because that's what i'm using i'm using zamp here so the first thing i need to do is go to my uh uh, database my PHP admin so just open PHP admin like that and then click export and then you're just going to click go to export everything in here and it's going to name the file 127.0.0.1 because that's the name of localhost anyway so once you've exported that that is your database file which you're going to use to replace all the databases that are here so once you've exported that that's good now you can get rid of your XAMPP but before you do that go to the XAMPP folder itself so go back to my blog and let's go to htdocs here so I have my htdocs folder that's where I means I'm in there so I want to remove this htdocs folder from XAMPP and put it outside for just for safekeeping because all my websites are in here. So I'm going to cut that one, go back a step in drive C and I'm going to paste it here. Oh, sorry about that. You have to stop uh, Apache here. So I'm going to stop the control panel, stop that as well. And then even quit Apache from here quit the ZAMP folder sorry the, the ZAMP uh, process from there and then retry come on come on okay so maybe it's because I have this folder open inside uh, sublime text so I'm going to close all sublime text uh, sublime text there because maybe that's what is using that folder so retry again. 
Okay, so it seems more processes are using this folder after all. Let me close this one as well, the PHP my admin. Let's try again, folder in use. Okay, so we are having trouble there, but even though the when reinstalling or uninstalling, it asks you whether to remove the ZAMP folder, but it's always just a good idea to be safe. So what I would do instead of cutting it, I'll just copy it though. Let's make a copy and paste it here. So depending on how big your system is, it may take a while to copy. So I'm just going to wait for it to finish copying here. So the copying is done now. Here's my folder in drive C, HD docs, just to uh, help uh, save that. So I have my database and I have my uh, files here, my website files. Okay, so what I will do now is go into my XAMPP folder and then there's the uninstall here and I will type, double click that one to uninstall my XAMPP. Okay, so give it a second there to load. It seems to be, uh, do you want to uninstall XAMPP and all of its modules? Yes. Do you want to remove the htdocs folder too? No. So, <clears throat> excuse me here. So here you can remove the htdocs folder or not, but since we've already uh, copied it, I think it doesn't help to have two of those copies, so I will remove it. All right, so now I'll just wait for the uninstallation process to complete and I will be right back. All right, so it's the uninstallation is complete. So I'm going to say, okay, there. So if I open the folder, you see that um, my htdocs folder actually was left in there. I think there are some files that it could not delete. Okay. Now, the issue here is that uh, for me to be able to install a new copy, it's going to refuse to install if the XAMPP folder already exists. So what I will do is I'm going to rename this and put a 3 there at the very end. And this issue again where the folder is open somewhere. So let me close any hints of being in use so let me try again oopsie okay so if you have that problem and you can't figure it out let me uh, close the command line maybe it's the one that's uh, accessing this let me try again one last time come on okay so it was the command line uh, causing problems. All right, so now that I've renamed, now if you are unable to rename this folder, just restart your computer and come back and rename it and it's going to work. And now I can go ahead and, uh, I can go ahead and actually install XAMPP again, which has a, a better version of PHP, a newer version of PHP. So let me, uh, Now, in case you don't know where to get XAMPP, let me click OK here while I explain. Let me just go. In case you don't know where to get XAMPP, you have to go online, type XAMPP, and then open apachefriends.org, and then just click XAMPP for Windows, Linux, or whichever version that you want, and then you download that. So I've already downloaded it. So that's why I have it here and ready to install. So I just click next. Now you can leave all these uh, things here, not really uh, a problem, but I'm not going to be using Perl here. So I'm just going to remove that. You can remove everything you need. Usually I remove all this, uh, but I'll leave it for now. I'll just remove Perl there and hit next, next, next. And now the installation process has begun 
and it takes me to the web page here but the important thing is that the installation is happening now so i'm just going to to come back when the installation here of zamp is complete all right all right so the installation is complete now it says do you want to start the control panel now yes please click finish and there we go so now we have our control panel and i want to start apache and mysql okay so what i will do now is go to my command line and i want to see my php version now so i'm going to type php dash v and now i have php 8.0.3 okay so this is awesome now all right so what do i do now i want to go to my uh, I want to go to laravel.com right there okay so now before uh, I even go to this part here let's go back and add uh, let me go to PHP let me go to my local host here that's what I'm looking for okay there we go so in here, this is where we have, um, we had our databases. Okay, that's one place. And then let's go to the second place here now. So I want to go to drive C and then ZAMP and then these htdocs. So these are, the, these are the files you have in htdocs here. So what I will do now is go back. Each time I have a project that i need to add in there i just need to come back here and copy the appropriate files for example i have my blog here which we've been using so far so i can just copy this folder and paste it inside the uh the other ht docs because so i can continue with all these projects that i have here so you can be copying them one by one you don't need to copy all of them at once just copy what you need to use and paste it here or if you have the time just copy the entire folder and replace what is here. And then for the database, uh, because we did download that database, let me find my downloads here. So if I click on downloads over here, I can go to uh, open containing folder. So there is the file right there. So I can open this file inside um, let me uh, close this folder here so I can open this file inside my uh, wait a minute there we go so I can drop it in here so this is the file that contains all the configuration uh, for my databases so what I can do is import it right here so I can go to import and then browse for the file so I'll copy this folder so I can easily find that file. So I hit browse, paste, and then right here, I want to find 127.sql file. And I'll say open. And then now I'll hit go in order to load that file. Okay, so it's going to take a while depending on how big uh, your databases are. Now, if you find that you're having errors, um, it's not completing the the installation process here taking back all your uh, databases you can do that one by one because sometimes it may tell you that the execution time has been exceeded and so it will not continue so you find that most of the databases have not been created so all you can do is simple you can just copy part of this file so you can just select anywhere from the beginning here just copy as much as possible like that and then copy that just bit by bit so copy this part go back to your php my admin uh, and then you can go to import or sql tab actually sorry you go to the sql tab and once you are there let me uh, just move this over to this side 
while this is loading hopefully i will not disturb anything or maybe let me cancel that for now since it's loading so you can go to the SQL tab and then copy these things one by one and paste them in there and then run them so once you do that as long as you do them in order in the order in which they are appearing right here it's going to be fine so you can retrieve everything one by one like this okay so let me hold on here for a second and wait for the databases to come back and then we can continue all right so i got this error here that says a table structure for pma bookmark already exists now the reason this is happening is because there are um, uh, tables in here that come with php my admin which were also exported when i exported the whole thing so once you get to that point all you have to do is uh, find the tables in here that were not copied and then you can easily uh, copy them and add them there so just make sure that you start with the database copy everything all right so the since we've wasted the table, half this video just doing some normal CSS, the SQL let's continue here. with uh, and then you can paste everything the rest in here the next and video. run it okay so that way you can omit the things that are part of the system so you can just target your tables and databases directly so for example here uh, where is this so you look for where the database begins from i can just do a search here i can type the database okay so here it says create database if not exists my database and then it says use my database so here you can copy from there up to the next part which says database so you copy all these all these are tables and then with their data and also their keys here so you make sure you copy everything up to the end here where the keys are showing until you find another create database like this so you get all that and this is the same one that failed which is pma uh, export so if you come here you just uh, paste it there and then you hit go and then it's going to run but the databases that i need personally are already here so i don't need to do this but you can do this to import your data back so once we are done with that we've successfully upgraded uh, our php right so now let's go back to laravel in the installation here and now let me come back to my uh, console here and see if composer still exists so I'm going to type composer and it shows that it actually does still exist so now what I will do here is I'll look for where it says install via composer installation via composer that's the one right there and then I'm just going to copy everything here let me clear this screen by typing CLS and then I have to make sure that I go back to my ZAMP folder. So change directory ZAMP, CD HD docs. And then in here now, I'm going to create my project and I'm going to name my project, my blog, just like we did last time and hit enter. Okay. So once I do this now, uh, the Laravel starts creating the project and please make sure that you're connected to the internet while you are doing this because you're getting this data from the internet. So we're redoing the process we had done before and now you can see that because my PHP is of the correct uh, version, now I am getting version 8 here instead of version 6 that I had gotten last time because of my lower PHP value. Okay, so the installation process would take a while, so just be patient and let it download everything it needs to download, and then we'll be back to continue our project. All right, so finally the installation is done. Everything seems to have worked out. Yep, everything seems fine. All right, so I can confirm this by going to my uh, folder in htdocs. Now I have my blog in there and I have my new version there so what I will do is uh, let me go to my browser here 
and what I want to do is load uh, localhost my blog public click there all right so now we have the correct version of Laravel okay so we are ready to continue with uh, models because those are very specific to Laravel 8 that's why I had to upgrade